Afternoon everyone. Thought I'd come down here and give June a bit of a hand. We're going to, well that's a bit fine isn't it? That one didn't need to be stripped but we have. Um, we're going to be doing a video on those power meters, the one that rotate around on everyone. Um, that's a bit far away from me. But anyway, I'll get up here and do this. Pardon me. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. In our last video, uh, a couple of days ago or so, uh, I picked up these. Now, I don't know whether it's illegal to have them, like off the, out of the box. I didn't take them out of there. I got them out of the bin. So, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to pull them apart. I'm not going to try and get them working or anything like that. I want to try and get copper out of here. I want to try and get brass. I know there's a lot of plastic. Um, a lot of metal too, so and a bit of cast alloy and stuff like that. So anyway, let's get to uh, find out what's actually inside them and put them on a pile on what's what and how much we get out of them. There is only four here and I think this is a uh, smart meter and that sort of thing. So I, there's a bit of brass in there as well. So we'll be pulling that one apart as well. Um, so we'll get some tubs ready for bits and pieces and whatnot. So we'll go through as a process, line them up, get to and get them done. Right, what do we need first? The flathead, take the face off, go through and undo all the screws. Because the screws are probably metal. I've got a magnet handy to find out. Oop. Then they're all facing one way, just take all the flat edge screws out. Jeez. That's a bit of baker light that is. Plastic baker light. So they're pretty old. Do all the flat edge here. I won't have to come back to them then. Oop, can't get that one, that's too small. Go over to here. I better speed this up then. Too slow for me. That was on on June's pace. I can go a little bit quicker. Find out what's in them. Whoa there, that was a bit tight. Come on, get in there. I don't like flat edge screwdrivers. Not in this job. Not in the drill anyway. They flick everywhere. Unless you get them straight. They might be brass. These ones, not sure. Undo that head. Another one back here. Do all these ones first before we get into the rest. There's been no security ties on them. I noticed that. Usually they've got a security tie with a bit of bit of lead in them. Uh, they put a bit of wire through the through the bolt there, so you can't undo them. And then they crimp it with a piece of lead. There has been none of those on any of these, so it's quite safe for me to undo them. Um, it looks like they've already undone them and put them back together or something like that. So it's quite safe that way. They used to use, they use these for reading your meter, for how you get your power. So many kilowatt. Right, that should be all undone. I'll worry about that one later. Uh, get a hammer. Get a hammer, son. Oop, you're not going down there. How about we turn them upside down, get those screws out. Come on, out you come. There we go. There's nothing in that except for the screws. You can't get the screws out because they're a permanent fixture type of thing. So we'll just set that there. We might be able to put our screws in there. Are they magnetic? Oh, nope. Here we'll find out. Falls off, they might be brass. Well, we're not letting them fall on the ground. Not that we do anyway. 
big magnet, that one. Oh, that one's a bit different. That one, a lot of brass in there. Cast alloy there, sweet. All right, get this top off. All those brass screws there. That one's off. Those there. That's off. Right. We don't want that one there. That's a metal one, isn't it? No. No, we'll have to test that one. We'll go through and test them all later. Um, so I think I'll just concentrate on these four here. We'll worry about that one at the last. Probably the best thing. Now I need a small screwdriver. I've got one here. Take these aluminium sheets off. Put them in there. Screwdriver wouldn't fit in that out of the drill. Oh, that one's a bit hard. Got a bit bigger piece. Where are you? That one there. No, that one there. Grab the electrics one. Got a bigger knob on it. See what we actually get. Well, I said it'd be interesting, so I thought I'd better create a video for you as all. See what's actually in your in your meter that you get in your power box. So these are the 240 volt single phase. Um, They're a double pole, as far as I know. Meaning that the two wires go in, two wires come out. So. It's a little bit of plastic, just there's a big coil down in there. We'll get that out. Copper coil. Be interesting to find out where they actually come from. They might I've done a bit of research on these, and usually what happens is that they get replaced to a smart meter. Now I don't know why they've taken that one off. I would not have a clue. Uh, this one's a bit different. It's true. It's only got one screw holding it. Oh, the light. LED light, come on, out you come. I think don't want to come out. Well, we're not salvaging it. We're, we're, we're wrecking it. Wreck it, Tim. That's those. Alright, scrape all of our screws over to one. What's next? What is next? It's on a little, little ding ding spindle there. That's aluminium. So, basically, it's drives by cogs and you go, it goes around when you've got the power connected by the looks of it. I'm not even going to attempt to try and connect one of these up. Um, there's a little screw there. Maybe how, oh, fast, slow, that's how you do, dial it in probably. Oh, how I'd put it down on slow. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, let's continue. Ah, uh, this one here. Undo this one. This one up the back. Wow, that went wild, didn't it? You got that, did you? Please. Hey, it was a cap. There should, should be only three caps. Nothing went down there. Sweet.
Yeah, as I said, nothing went down. I'll spread the drill up. Right, this one's a bit different. Because they haven't got Phillips head screwdrivers in them. Ooh, that's a bit hard. Put a bit of pressure on it. The drill's got a break on it, so I can't actually turn the drill. Getting wild and woolly. No, need the small screwdriver for that one. Geez, I might be best to do it by hand. Yeah, I think so. Getting too hard for the hand here. That screwdriver's not even going to fit in it. You now you might break that little thing. Undo that little screw. There we go. Definitely a lot of copper in here anyway. There we go. That's that one. Oh, that undone that big piece of copper. I've seen that come loose. Oh, look at that. Right, undo all the screws that's facing up. Why not? Should just fall apart then. Let's hope. That's definitely cast down over there. There's a pin going through there. Looks like. Oh, that's got some drag on it now. We're dragging. You undoing that one too, are you? Oh, good oh. You want a bigger screwdriver? You have to get one out of the toolbox. Power probably runs through that copper coil, so it reads, so it spins the spindle here. You haven't undone that one, that's all right. All right, well that brought that off. You want to do that? Undo all of that? That's cast alloy. I'll give you another one shortly. Yeah, you need a bigger screwdriver. You might need, say, one out of the toolbox. Um, this one here. I didn't take that one apart like this. That's totally different. It's got screws through the back the whole lot, that thing. Oh, it's got pins in the back too. So that's a little bit different to these. These three look to be... Oh, there's two the same. And whoop, wherever that went, it hit the roof. <laughs> hit the roof. Jeez, we'll have to pull that out of there. That's got a bit of brass in that. Brass and aluminium, all sorts of things. Here's the spindle. That's going to be pulled apart. Should unscrew that. Right, that should come out of there. Big coil in here. Come on, catch you come. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Big coil there. Oh, once you don't know how to pull one apart, it's always the same for the next. It's certainly quicker with a normal screwdriver instead of trying to do it with that. Oh, well, I reckon. I can give them a spin out the same, same, same speed. Get the word out. Can't get the words out of my mouth. You're having an issue. Pussy here. Oh, you almost had it. 
You got it? Bit of brass on that, bit of alloy. Come on, off you come. Nothing holding you, son. Or is there? No. Nothing there, nothing there. What the devil's holding you? Absolutely nothing. Come apart or you get the hammer. I reckon you won't, will come apart. That's the problem there. That is most certainly the issue. There we go. We'll solve the issue. Put that piece down. Ooh, don't stab at itself. There we go. It's apart. Good copper coil. We'll get those two pieces of copper off there. Snip them off. Sweet. Two bits of number two copper. Take that plate off there. And we'll put... Might even try and take that apart. I haven't got around to making any dies or anything for the uh, for splitting motors yet. I'm getting there. Just getting there. Unscrew that. That comes out. I think it comes out. Yes, it's coming out. in there so we've got to get them out hammer June's got it but I'll use this one oh they're in there squeak 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 <laughs> better get rid of that mouse <laughs> I might cut that down there with the grinder to get those out I can't see any other way to do that. Right, well that's that one. Put him there. Get on to this one over here. Oh, we haven't finished here. Put all of our screws in one pile. We'll just run a magnet over top. Okay, okay for that one. Oh, he's already out. Another screw there. Get this off the back. All of our screws that are ferrous, uh, we put them in microwaves. Reuse the microwave for extra weight. They're an empty space, so that's the easiest way. Big block of cut in there. I'm gonna get that out somehow. How the hell am I going to get that out of there? How the hell am I going to get them out of there? Unsure. You have an issue. Oh, you got that other part, so you started on that. Undo that screw. I what? undo that screw. Yeah. And it does it, and it does up. It does it up. What do you mean, does it up? It's, oh, it's just turning. Yeah. You got a bolt there, you got to undo a bolt there, and that should pull, pull off. Which is, no, it's that strange one that we've been using here. You probably won't like the wibbly wobbly. Um, where's the adapter? What have we done with the adapter? It's right there. Yeah. There you go. Keep the fingers working. <laughs> the 
something warm. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> it's warm. It's all right for you. Yeah, well, my fingers are warm. My um, <laughs> we'll put that there. I'll go to this one. I'll go. Yeah, she'll go to this one. I'm going to swap and chop and change it. Yeah, I've got to undo those pins in the back. These ones here, pair of pliers. Little circ clips. Did that finish, did it? One minute to finish for testing a washing machine. Takes a couple of days to do a test on a washing machine. Hopefully that should pull out now. Well, that's that one done. Made that easy. Oh, look at this. Woohoo! Big coil there. Drop that off. That goes in the middle. We'll put it down there. Oh, Mum. Those screws in here are not coming out. In there. They're not coming out. Those little ones? No, they don't come out. You gotta undo this thing, which would be Oh it's oh oh this is a lot different. This is only a three pole, not a double pole. They've pulled one pole out. Because it's got the copper onto the brass. Mm -hmm. So you, ha you have to get down there and cut that. And that should come out. Cut what? Cut the copper. Down in there. Yeah, I'll do it for you. Thick bits of copper. There's one. There's two. Then you just cut those boys off. They should slide out this way, inwards. But I don't think so. I don't know how they come out. I don't know. Just leave that part there, because I've got to work out how to get them apart later. That can go over there. That can go with that one. Yep, the same as what I'm at. Um, but I have not got... No, you can use uh, this thing to get that transformer off. Just be careful, it's got a wobble wobble. you got to hang on to it. Oh. Yeah, put it in the pile. It's got on it. Yeah, just put it in the pile. I'll give it all a magnet test. They're certainly not going to work once we're finished, anyway. <laughs> That's that transformer off. Little one there. Yeah, we might be able to take... Oh, we're not going to pull that one apart. See how much... Oh, we might. We might. That's got too many coils around that. There is copper inside it. But um, too many rounds. So I'll leave that one as he is. Right, what have we got here? That we're not leaving as it is. Oh, it's true. Go back to the other one. How are you going over there? You getting there? That off. 
that's that out. I'm gonna test those straight up. Jeez, they're strong, these little magnets. No, that's steel, steel. That might be alloy there. That's alloy on the end, so we're gonna pull that apart so we go further. The rubber it's on the trash. Right, there's a screw there, screw there. Right, yeah, we can undo that. Have we got a proper one in this? Yeah, all you're gonna do is take that off there and put that straight onto there. Thank you. Okay. I like the wibble wobble because it gives me a bit extra depth. Now you got it, eh? Now you're cracking. Jeez, they're not made of much, eh? Not much to them. piece of cast alloy it's about what's mostly in it really isn't it a bit of cast alloy here cast alloy there oh, i've still got a tender that eh? has that got those posts do they come out don't think so not sure don't think so yes they do come out they're screwing out Uh, it's not necessary. I better redo that one. Uh, a bit of cast alloy. Uh, here, finish one off first. I've got to go back to that. This is pretty much the same. Little coil. Okay. Yep. All right. So there's not much to them in a way, in sense. Uh, it's got two coils, like this one here. You got your wheel that goes between, and it counts on how many it's just going through I'd gather a little copper piece there as well um, so yeah pretty simple and there you go that's a cleaner one very clean could almost take that one right apart maybe could almost just looking at it uh, another screwdriver on the side Here we go, here we go, we've got action happening. We got action happening. Get down there with the hammer. Oh, I'd left that on there. I did. Oh, that went the wrong way. Now it's stuck. It's stuck. It's stuckerist. Put another one down there. <laughs> See if I can get it stuck. Here we go. We got them free. Right. Now that. Oh. Oh, okay. We're not going to be able to get that off. Maybe. We might have to use the grinder for that. Oh, I reckon. No, we will get that off. Look at this. Straight off there. You've probably all seen it before I did. We'll just unwind it. Unwind it. That's the go. Nice bit of copper. Wow. Sweet. Bit of steel. Uh, do the same with that one, I reckon. I reckon so. Where's that little hammer? Well, I haven't got into that one yet. Into what one? It's all right. <laughs> oh, that made it easy. Put that over there. We know they're steel. Pull that plastic out. Where's those pliers? That's there. 
Uh, this way. Mm. So there's not much to them. But it's worthwhile pulling them apart. Oh, Struth, I've got it caught. There we go. Alright, go to the other side now. No point getting a grinder in there and wasting wasting power you don't need to. Get a bit of hand power. Look at that, I just gotta chop those ends off. Good pair of side cutters. Back here. Lost that. There it is. That metal? Is it metal? No, it's not. What is it? Copper. Oh, so I could have left it on there. Damn. Oh, I've got to get that plate off there though. Got the dropsies. Alright, two bits of copper. Should be able to put this into um, copper piping. Number two copper pipe. Get rid of the o ring, the seal, whatever. Get that off there. That's got to be steel. That's that one. I don't know what I've done with the other one. It's no, that's not it. Don't know. See there somewhere. There it is. That may be steel. No. Copper. No, brass. Okay, you're coming off. Just peel it off. So that's a bit of brass. We'll put that in there. Put that in the, in the, in the, in the, which one's it on there? That one. Make little pockets here. We don't want that. Start sorting. Oh, you got a good transformer. Oh, that can come straight out. No? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just twist, <coughs> twist to the side. <coughs> we'll put that top over here. Oh, you're going to spread it. But then you've got the centre one. The centre one goes right through that. <laughs> so you spread and it's going to make it harder for you to get it out. So you've got to spread... See that there? That there? That's stopping it from No, coming out. no. Leave it as it is because okay. there's too many windings to uncoil that. Okay, alright. Okay, so that goes as a transformer as it sits. Like this one does. Okay, because of the too many windings, we don't undo them and that sort of thing. It's just a lot of paper and God knows what, so we leave it as it is. Ah, uh, getting down to this one here. We both missed that one. <laughs> We've diverted. That'll go as steel. Pull that off there, it's only plastic. Feed that under, bit of copper wire. Yes, bit of copper. That's there. Unwind it. So that'll go as insulated copper. Sit it there. Bit of steel. All right, we're getting there, everyone. We're getting there. We're slowly and surely. We're getting there. Uh, yeah, the spindles there. They have to come apart. I have yeah, best to check to see if that's if steel or not. Okay. Right. Well, they might not need to come apart because they could go, like if they're all aluminium, they go out there. But if the center's steel, you could take it apart. Well, that's that. Yeah, that's cast. Now you've got to get the screw out. 
Bother. That screw. See what's wrong with it. Why is it turning around, around, around? So it's probably because you stripped it, or I don't know. Not coming out. That's the one that wouldn't come out. Have a look for underneath. See what it's doing. See. Yeah, you, you've probably stripped it. I didn't strip it. Well, I'm just saying you probably. I'm not saying you did it. It's probably already done. Get on to this. I'll get back to that transformer in a minute. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I want that cast all the way out of there. Don't know, don't know how that comes apart. Oh well, wreck it Ralph, here we come. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Do the same to that one. Probably not the right way to pull them apart, but I'm doing it this way. This is my way of pulling things apart. Get in and wreck it. Doesn't matter how it comes apart, because you're not going to put it back together anyway. That's my theory. Unless you're restoring it. Well, they're brass. That's brass. Well, oh, it's way down here. Hey, brass. Brass, 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 brass. Where do I put the brass? Okay. I don't know where I put the brass. Over there. What? How'd you go? Come on, yeah. tell me. I'm sure I'm trying to work this out. <laughs> I can't get the bloody thing apart. You ready? Oh, it's a spring. Yeah, so? You should be able to unscrew it. Yeah, you try that. <laughs> what? Pull it apart. Pull it apart? Are yep. you pulling it wrong? Hey, that's undoing. What are you coming at? The reason why that's not coming apart because there's a little bolt there. That's the one up. Why are you doing up when you should be undoing, son? Left hand thread. Wow, first one. First left hand. Oh, how did you get that off? I told you how to undo that. <laughs> I tried. You didn't try hard enough. No, I didn't, did I? Yeah, I got that one undone. It was a left hand thread. That's stupid. That is damn stupid. First left hand thread I've ever come across in a long time. There we go. We got that out. Pull that apart. Got the spring out. Better pick that up. That is completely done, cast alloy, cast alloy. Right, we'll get back to that in a minute. Ah, so you still got to continue with that. Are they magnetic? No. So you may be able, yeah, no. What are they? Jeez, I shouldn't have stuck that like that. That's stainless. Bit of stainless there. Get that off there. All right. Well, we'll put it over there, a bit of stainless. What's the wire doing there? Oh, yeah, that goes that way. Do, 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 do. Cogs are probably stainless. Stainless cogs. See, on this one, you've got those things there holding it. You watch. I'm watching, but I don't see it, and no one else can see that. So we might just have to do a snipperoo with the grinder. Well, it's too hard to do with a pair of pliers. Oh, hell yeah. Because I tried doing it. Yep. Oh, right. well, I've got a bit of stainless here. They wouldn't be stainless if they weren't in here. This is not rusted. <clears throat> I just tested it. Give it the spark test. Oh, that's that. That's all alloy. Alloy! Ah, uh, that's over that. How about I get back to this transformer, everyone? Probably dying to find out how much is in that. 
Uh, what are we going to do here? How are we going to attack this? How, 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 how? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, where'd you do with those ploys? Undo those. Not the right method. Where's that little thing? This one here. That's the go. Now we've got it. Come on, out just come. Got stuck in there. You want to put that back on that, please? Try and get that transformer out of there. See what he's like inside. If he's no good, we'll just put him with the rest. Probably like the rest. Is there a low current? Oh, that's got to be slid out. Got to slide that out. Tap her out. Tap, 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 tap. Woody Woodpecker. Get the woodpecker going. Sheeting, bit of brass there. Bit more there. Where did we put that? Bit there. Bit more on that. That's steel. I'll get to that in a minute, everyone. Time, time. Ah, uh -huh, no, you're not gonna do that, son. You're not going to do that. Ah, uh, you got those. Okay, I'll use these. What? what? The pliers. I'll use these. Get me fingers away. Because I've got brass on here. Um, where's the other pliers? Here. Yeah. What's the old pair's going to do the job? Here we go. Right, well, we've got it all mainly apart. Let go there, that's steel. So, just a bit of a roundup. We've only got one to go. You've got steel plates there. Uh, so, yeah, not too bad out of this. Oh, we better cut that stuff off. Bit of rubbish there. We haven't got much rubbish in the way, except for these casings. I've still got to get to and do the brass out of there. A bit of brass inside those. Um, yeah. Pretty good and all in all. What do we got here? Chop of that off there. That one off there. That over there. That over there. That that in the rubbish. Another bit of copper wire. They should just fall out. They should just fall out. Look at that. All the goodness. That's the goodness. Chop the ends off. Where they've put solder on them. Put that over there. That into there. Right. We may not get that apart. Don't look like we will. We'll just put it through as a transformer. We'll have a look. How much? Oh no, we're not going to put that through as a transformer. That can be undone. Look at that. Look at that. It's not like those. That's a decent one. You get into that one, that's probably the same. So we've got to use, we're going to undo those rivets with the grinder. Do that later. Um, undo the grinders. Hey? Yeah, that, well, you reckon you could do that down there? No. Oh. That's rubbish. I'm going to get to and do this one. I'll attend to that, you attend to the No, oh, all right, I'll do the grinder and you do that then. You got your tools down there? Um, oh, brass. Brass there. 
we don't know what that is we're going to test it we're going to do a magnet test around that pile there soon um, Now you've got four big screws, you got a screw on the side, a little one, oh that's steel, that's got to come off, that little piece there, that shaft is aluminium, maybe brass, don't know, give it a test. It's aluminium, so we can probably just cut that off like this. Oh geez, that's soft. Oh, don't need to cut it off. Turns off. Does it? Yeah. Oh, that's even better still. Why is it? Oh, because it's got a bit of, it is alum, aluminium, but it's got a metal piece in the end. So they can stay as they are. Let's go with that. Just do that. Anyone can tell the time? Mm. <laughs> you got a notification. Someone loves you. I'm just going to pull that one out. That's pretty hard, that stuff. Not magnetic. But yet the end is. Okay. Geez, that is hard. Ouch. We'll put that that way. I know that's alloy. There we go. We got it off. Put that into there. Well, that's a bit different. Good. Right, so what am I up to? Oh yeah, I know, there's one over here. Another one like that over there somewhere. Yeah, just little stuff that we haven't got around to. Oh, you want me to do these, okay. Should come out now. There we go. Put that there. She's numberless now. <laughs> That's how you do it. Get a grinder. Get a grinder. Uh, then chop that off. Get our cast alloy. I'm going to go center. Plastic off. That's alloy. Yes, it would be. There's a steel plate down in there. Let's pull that out of there. There we go. Did you say that was? I didn't. I just put it. Geez, that's in there. That's brass too. Oh, it's going to hit it out. Hit it out. Mm, choice of tools here. Brush. 
Everyone wonders how things work behind the scenes? This is it. <laughs> we go at our pace the way we can. I go quicker sometimes. Go like a bat out of hell. Oh, it's truth, I better get rid of those. They're brass. Those little plastic cogs aren't. That's metal. It was a mammoth task, two day task, pulling power points apart in this freezing cold weather. What are you dropping? I can't see down that far. So what have you dropped? Uh, no, I've got to bash that off. Yeah, it goes in there. Yeah, go away. We don't want to know you. It's only an email. Yeah, got that one apart. You give me my cogs back. Lose my sense of humour. <laughs> I better get my cogs going, eh? <laughs> Not the alloy. That's all right, I'm not in the mood. There you go. Oh, that's all good. All right, so you're doing that. I'm going to get back to this one over here. I don't, yeah, I'm going to get back to that. I'm going to cut that down the side. Then I'll just spread it. Break it. That worked, didn't it? One cut for two. You yeah, use that. That's the one I used. Got to get that stuff out of there. That's a magnet in there. Surely. Yep, magnet. Oh yeah, she's a magnet. That's to slow your your spindle down it travels between it. I don't know how it slows the aluminium down, but yeah. Not a very strong magnet at that. There we go. Oh, a bit of copper behind that. Copper and aluminium. You having issue? Yeah, I kind of do these big bolts. Big well, I done it with um, that. I had to hang on to it though. That's that one. That's that one. Yep, I slipped off that one. I'll go in the hole. That's that one. And that's that one. Yeah, I'm throwing them on the ground. Well, we got one left, have we? Mm. Got one left in there to undo. There you go. I just got that down there because I'll get back to doing these a lot later because I can't do it now. Ooh. Well, you pretty much everyone's got the idea of what's actually involved in one of these. Um, yeah, we've got to get back to uh, pulling all this brass out of here. Um, 
I've got to work out how I'm going to get it, get that out of there without breaking the whole thing. There's bits of brass in there, so I may have to get to it with the with a hammer and instead of using a grinder because with the grinder with this stuff it's very toxic. Um, so I can get all of that brass out of there. It's just a flat plate, though. So yeah. Hope you've enjoyed tagging along. We've got a bit of copper here. We've got uh, aluminium. Still got to sort out some of these screws. Now, what I was talking about, sort out screws. Here we go. This is how much magnetic there is. Get the magnet out. Hey, look at all that. We've got to take that apart. Take that apart. That's fine. A lot more there than what we thought. So, they, is that magnetic? Yes, it stays on there. Those little clips would be too. No, they're alloy. Uh, more screws. Okay. She's certainly sucking her up. That's a damn good magnet, isn't it? Mm. Right, put that in there. Mind yourself, I'll bring them around here. Oh, we better grab that spindle. That spindle's got to have that on there and taken off that. That's how we do our screws. Oh, we better grab those. There's got to be a copper on that. <laughs> Sometimes it does, you know, copper on the... Does pick up copper when it's on a screw or something like that. All right, do another magnet test. See what picks up. Damn good magnet, that. That is alloy. I know that. I can see that goes there, that one too, that's brass, sorry I'm in your road, but all of our small stuff like screws and stuff like that, we put in microwaves, empty microwaves, we strip the transformer and out and all that, what else we got in, oh jeez, oh, and hold it above, right, Metal, 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 metal. Give me metal. Ooh. Got to get that off there. That piece there. No, oh, That must be stainless because it's not sticking to that. Go over it again. Oh, I have. Oh, I certainly have. Well, you're still going there, aren't you? Well, it's the same. And they might be stainless, stainless screws. But anyway, hope everyone enjoyed tagging along with us today. And um, oh, it's cold. yeah, I mean, I, we had about a minus five degrees overnight. <laughs> That's what it was. Minus. No wonder the boys got into bed. With <laughs> it was minus five. Damn, it was cold. No, we're not used to that minus five degree sort of stuff. Where's the other pliers? Where's the other pliers? The other pliers, where are they? They should be there. They're not. No, no, no. No, no, no. Do you have you got them nice? down there? I don't have anything on that table. That's your table. No matter, I'll use your little... Hey, look at that, that's magnetic. No, it's not. It's got caught in the jaw. Um, but yeah, you got the idea of how they come apart. I'm trying to finish it off here for everyone so it's not dragging on for too long. Um, so yeah, transformer, copper wire, cast alloy. Oh, does it turn out, does it? Well, there you go, that goes into there. We're still in the process of pulling little bits and pieces apart, we'll find out what the rest is. Ah, oh, that's steel. I've got to work out how to get that out of there yet. Not sure. Um, so yeah, if you've come this far, don't forget What's to give us a like. Ah, uh, well, we'll have to give it a magnet test. I'm not going to be able to get that out of there, I don't think. Oh yeah, I will. I'll screw that out of there. Damn. All right. And if you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. June's only here, got one to go. Um, we've probably, I haven't got into this. Before we go, I'll 
I'll get into this smart meter. We'll do a quick, quick run over on this smart meter before we head off. Get it apart. See what it's like. Got into those. What do these got? I'll leave that aside. Uh, yeah, screwdriver there. That's how you do it. <laughs> I like that quick stuff. Another one there. Set back in my pocket. What are you putting in your pocket? Tissue. Oh, okay. Right, well, that's that apart. How do you get the rest apart? Fantastic plastic, you know. <laughs> Damn. Oh, come on. How do you come apart, mate? I'll get the grinder out onto you. No, you don't. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> they are smart. They're smarter than me because I can't get it apart. <laughs> I thought it was a screw and yet it had come apart. No. Oh, there's double screws in there. Got to get those two out. That's brass. What to do with all that stuff? There. Hmm? Why is it stepping? Okay. Because there's a flat piece of steel there that I had to realise that I had to take apart. Well, which one was that? Hmm? It's in there. See this flat piece of steel? You gotta lift this up. Alright? See that flat piece of steel there? This one? To get, no. Pardon me, done it. That goes down like so. That looks strange, eh? No, I'm not going to be able to get that apart. In with the grinder, I reckon. No, better still. Good old hammer. You can never do without a hammer. <laughs> find its weak point. I'm not letting you go in it. No, it's not. As I said, find a weak point. Here. Yeah. No, I don't think so. It's splitter. You split it. No, I don't know. Well, it did pop apart there. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to action. Who needs screws? There we go. Don't need screws. It's glued together. Surely. Yeah, it is. Breaking the seal, that's all I'm doing. Oh no, there is two screws holding it. They're Allen keys. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I'm not going searching through the Allen keys. I'll just continue with the hammer. It's quicker. Like I said, the hammer's quicker. Big hunk of bloody other stuff in there. Oh, I did do undo it. There we go. Oh, look at the... Yeah, look at the brass in there. Mm. Big chunks of brass. That's why I thought oh, I'll get it done quickly. You know, so they can all see it on camera. Yeah. See what's in one of these smart meters. There's not much in them. Hugger all, bits of brass and that's it. Circuit board, she's not real smart. Damn. How'd you get this one here out? Hey, I, I unscrewed it. You gotta unscrew it so that this yeah, well, unscrews. It hurt my thumbs. Yeah. And then I got a screwdriver under there and lifted that out. Oh, I did get Oh, you got one. All right, let's get these pieces of brass out. There's one. Two, geez, that's a nice piece of brass. Three, four, there's the whole caboose. A bit more brass there, look at that, that's a nice chunk. Gee, 
She's not a smart meter no more. Nice piece of brass. Oh, a bit of copper on the bottom of this one. Look at that. Big chunk of copper. Hey. Geez, I'll heat that up and I'll I'll get that off that way. That one I can't. Anyway, that was the smart meter. Quick and simple. Hit it with a hammer. <laughs> they don't call me Rick at Ralph for nothing. Well, June doesn't anyway. So if you've enjoyed the video, till next time, happy dumpster diving. We just made a mess. Hope you've enjoyed it. So until next time, June's still trying to work this out. I told you you had to pluck that. Um, no, you had to screw it out first. Well, I did. You didn't? I did. Yeah, look. I'm trying to end the video off here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not going to go like I did. Here we go. Told you. Then that comes off. And that's yeah. magnets, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I've got to cut it down the side and because this one's the same over here. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, every, everyone, um, sorry for the delay. Had to show June how to finish. Yeah, just sit them there. Um, a bit of copper on those. I don't know how we'll get that off. Not sure. Um, yeah. Until next time, happy dumpster diving, and we will see you in the next one. Cheerio. Just before we go, I thought we'd, you know, get to really clean the stuff up and um, get all the end, big ends out and that sort of thing and show you what we actually got out of those. So we got a whole, all these screws and stuff that came out of it, they were brass. I tested them with the grinder. I don't get a file, it takes too long. So that's a good hole, heap of good brass in there. I didn't get those ones out of there, though. But anyway, mind, they will be brass too. Um... Bit of whole heap of copper here. That's that's going to be number two copper, nine insulated as you can see. Ah, uh, but we have got a bit of stainless. Not weren't expecting a bit of stainless. Uh, a bit of insulated wire. Four transformers. Uh, we didn't get much out of that uh, smart meter, and a fair bit of aluminium too. So not too bad. Don't mind that odds. A lot of brass. That's got a lot of weight in that. These are unreal on how big they are unreal they are thick there's a lot of them too I, I like this one in here double shot imagine having them hanging off your oh ears. no thanks oh no oh no anyway just a quick one at the end everyone just thought we'd show you what we got out of that lot so we'll see you in the next one cheerio